Yo, what's going on guys? Koltamush back at it with another video, and in this video, I want to talk about bad PC ports, and this is something I like to mention all the time, because I do constantly get new subscribers and new people to the channel, and whenever there's a bad PC port that's released, or just a bad PC version of a game, I always like to bring this topic to the forefront because a lot of people, not pointing any fingers, but they like to make it out to seem like everything in PC gaming is amazing. And there's a lot of things about PC gaming that are amazing, but I like to also bring up the negatives, and one of the big negatives is bad PC ports. Now this topic is very relevant to me right now because of how terrible Dishonored 2 was, and as you guys might know, that was actually my most anticipated game of the year. I absolutely loved the first Dishonored game from 2000. 2012, I thought that game was so good. I was so excited for Dishonored 2 and it releases and unfortunately the PC version is just not up to par. You guys are seeing some gameplay of the game running on the 1080 right now and you guys might notice that there's a lot of frame rate drops and when you're running a GPU like the GTX 1080, that's my friend's 1080 and I ran a 1070 and I was getting inconsistent frame rates as well. That's just unacceptable for a game like Dishonored 2, which is, at the end of the day, running on a console. Now, I actually do have Dishonored 2 on the PlayStation 4 as well, and I have to say, on the vanilla PS4, I don't have the PS4 Pro. Dishonored 2 technically is also not very good on PS4. There was actually one scene where I was on a boat, and the frame rate was chugging so hard that one of my friends that was over that isn't a gamer, and he doesn't give a crap about things like frame rates and performance, and things like that. He's just like, dude, why does this game look like a slideshow? That's the PS4 version, so I found that pretty funny. I do believe that Dishonored 2 is a game that takes advantage of the PS4 Pro, so it probably runs better on that. But on the regular PS4, Dishonored 2 does run pretty poorly as well, but that's besides the point. On PC, considering how much money that I've dropped into my PC that other people have dropped into their PC, the console experience is completely irrelevant to me. I don't care that Dishonored 2 is also not running that great on consoles because a PS4 is only like $250. When people are dropping $500 into their graphics cards alone and games like Dishonored 2 are still running poorly, best believe that that stings a lot more than a person dropping $250 on a console and picking up Dishonored 2 and that game not running too well. With PC gaming, you're dropping a significant amount of money and when games don't run up to par, that stings so much more than a game running poorly on console, because why are you dropping a significant amount of money on your gaming PC to get good performance? And the thing is, this isn't an isolated issue with Dishonored 2. This happens time after time, multiple times throughout the year with some of the biggest games of the year. Mafia 3 wasn't that good. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare was garbage in my opinion. And now we have Dishonored 2 also being pretty terrible on PC. That's three pretty big games over the course of the last, you know, 60 days. That's that's completely unacceptable. Now, there are obviously games that do run well, like your Titanfall 2, Battlefield 1 runs really well, and there's games that run well, but that should be the case with everything, especially when you're charging $60 for a game. How you can release a broken product and how this continues to be an issue, I thought after the debacle that was Batman Arkham Knight, developers would finally smarten up and realize that, hey, if we put some time into developing a good PC port, it's gonna sell a lot better, especially with Steam Reef funds now being a thing. I just don't get how in 2016 that developers are still releasing bad ports. Actually, I do get it. It's because there's a lot of people that end up buying these games and they don't end up refunding it. They're oblivious to the fact Steam even has a refund policy because it's not that publicized. And these developers can still make easy money off some people. And I've mentioned this several times and my one common response that I always get is, Mush, how is this PC gaming's fault? This is completely on the developers and you're right about that, but that's completely irrelevant to me. I don't care if a game running poorly is on PC gaming or if it's on the developer. The fact is, the game is running poorly. And that's something that people that are looking to get into PC gaming need to know about. That there's gonna be times where you're very much looking forward to a game and it's just not gonna perform well on day one or maybe even ever. Sometimes games do get fixed, other times they don't and it's just the reality of the situation. And the one thing that people will probably mention again in the comment section of this video, well at least it runs better than it does on console. But again, that's not the point. Those two things should be disconnected. There should be a standard of how games should run on PC, and if you just lower that standard to, well, it runs better than it does on console, well, then you're just doing yourself and PC gaming as a whole a major disservice. 
And I'm sure that somebody in the comment section is gonna post Mush, Arcane Studios, and Bethesda are working on patches to fix the game. That's fine, and I'm happy that Arcane Studios is gonna put time into fixing up the game, but that doesn't change the fact that they released a broken product, and how you can defend something like that is unfathomable to me. And I had to make a video with Dishonored 2 being a bad port because, again, Dishonored 2 was my most anticipated game of the year. The fact of the matter is the game runs like shit on PC given what my standards are. Does the game run amazingly on console? No, but that's irrelevant to me. I want the game to run up to par on PC, and currently it does not. And even if they do fix it, that doesn't excuse the fact that Arcane Studios released a broken product on PC. You can delay the game on PC, release it on console now, and then give us the PC version in January or something, and give us a product that's actually working because when a product does work it's gonna sell a lot better than a product that doesn't work but I guess these developers must still be making a significant amount of money because people still buy these games they still release products that aren't up to par and yeah I don't know I thought with the introduction of steam refunds that bad ports would slowly go away but that really hasn't been the case let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below have you played Dishonored 2? Does the game run well for you? If you have a request for a future video, you can leave that in the comment section as well. And as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.